Kings and Queens, your majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well, and you are loving yourself and others like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers. You are loved, celebrated, and appreciated. So I want us to laugh a bit today. And as we are laughing, there is a message that is being passed, okay? Just a lighter note. This is going to be short and quick. I would want to take your time, your majesty. So we have series of stories here that we're just going to brush through, okay? To just waken us as people to see what is going on in our communities, in the African communities. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So who did it to us? Who did this to us, okay? So apparently a pastor had asked his members to give 70% of tithe instead of 10%. <laughs> it's funny. I'm going to bring all this for you, okay? Because the economy is now bad, so bad that it has affected the church business. And the, this pastor is not making the money that he should make anymore. And if you like, 10% is not enough again. Bring 70%. Just imagine, you break your back and work for a month and you get paid. And then you carry 70% of the money you paid and you'll give it to a man who claims he's a man of God. Come on. My people, <laughs> this is too much now. This, this, this is too much. Where are we heading to with this? And then we have another one who is moving around selling mm, to tell you that the economy is really hard. So pastors now don't sell um, anointing water anymore. They call it um, holy water, right? Miracle water. Yeah, they call it miracle water. They don't sell miracle water anymore. They now go into, they are into business now. So they now sell different things. They sell break the oil, uh, break the limit perfume. They sell powerful mustard seed, victory light. They sell um, a whole lot of things. And you're going to see where the level of, you see the level of the havoc that this religion has done to us. We are looking for rain so that rain can fall on our farm produces and we can have a good harvest. And this rain is falling because the so-called people who claim they are, in a, they are in a crusade, they are praying that the rain stop falling. In short, they were fighting with the rain and calling for thunder to fire the rain. <laughs> like I told you, today is going to be just on a lighter note and... We're just going to see the reality of things out there. These people were praying and calling for thunder to fire rain. You are calling for thunder to fire rain. I don't understand. Thunder and rain. You are <laughs> when you see this, oh my goodness. I don't know if you're going to laugh or you're going to cry. So uh, I want us to look at this. And if there is time, we take it up, your majesty, because there are a whole lot. Okay? Response about my last uh, speech about economy is bad. People should increase their tithe from 10%. But among all the responses I, I will have, I want to reply this coward that called himself that he freeze. He freeze that brain and freeze it. He put me on your page and said, I should show you in the Bible what the disciples collected tight. I can see that that one tight is confusing you. It's really paining you. Let me show you something. Acts chapter 2. The Bible said the apostles gave all. I'm even changing my statement now. I'm telling people, self, that they should give liberally without a figure attached to it. People should give God sparingly. Is it not the Bible that said the apostles gave all the first pastors? In Acts chapter 4, God was even angry with Ananas and Sapphira for bringing parts. So what do you have to say? Should we tell members to bring all? Is it not the Bible that said it? Don't insult me. If you insult me, I will insult hell out of you. Because I don't know somebody. You, you, don't, you don't have the moral rights. To, to come and insult me. You live in glass house, never throw stones. I will come for you if you come for me. Do you know that if the Bible was to be written in this economy, they will not include 10%. Those who still give 10% are baby Christians. I will bless God as he bless me. I give 70%. Sometimes I even give God all. Something in my hand. Do you yet see this one? This one is a perfume. Wow. It's a perfume that breaks the limits. Because this limit must be breaking. There are some people that upon all the tried that they tried in life, yet they cannot pass the level. Some people they started wanted to build, they cannot. So you have to use this one 
I will tell you when the time comes. Of the, it's a program. There's a program coming up. Break the limits. So there's a limit that there. I will tell you the secret how you're going to go about it. So that that smell, this one is so overshadow the evil smell. I don't need to see a lot on this video because you can look and you can listen. Take this in. Now this is what they will call having a breakthrough. It's called travailing prayer. That's the way it's called. These people are praying to God. The all-knowing God, the all-powerful God. These people have been living in poverty for generations. And for generations, they have been doing this. It's now 2024. People are dying all around them. And look at them still doing the same thing and expecting full 100% expectation that the God that they're praying to is going to bring them answers. Who did this to us? Listen, look. If I'm telling you that the education system in Africa is a whole lot of vibe, you think I'm lying. Watch what, what, what the Chinese kids are learning. Eat, sleep, and play From kindergarten, they are chefs. You see them, construction. Look at what they're doing. Self-independent. They are chefs already. These are the things you graduate from here and go to catering school before you learn. Watch. Look at it. They, start working right they know how to handle the sewing machine. Look at it. This is education. You see? Before you graduate to the next level, you have a hand, a skill in your hand. Look at it. Eh? Balance training. Eh? You see them doing concentration exercise. Look at it. You see? They are practicality in, practicality in school. Look at what they are doing. They are already smart. This, you see, military training. Meanwhile, in America, America is crying today. In America, the children don't even know whether they are male or female. The male don't know whether they are confused. They have to go and debate and explain to them that no, you are a man. Eh? Look at what they are doing. Balance technique. Have a military training. This one you have to, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Africa. You have to graduate, join the army before you'll be able to go through this training. They are training their kids. They put the sense of... Uh, a patriotism in them to defend their country from childhood. Welcome to Africa. Mm -hmm. Let me raise the volume. The language of prayer. The language of prayer. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Africa. We are teaching our kids to rely on Western God. After that, they graduate to become this. It's graduating. Be watching. Follow me. Follow me. Follow the platform. Keep watching. Eh? It's graduating. From here, they graduate to where? Eh? Where do they graduate? <laughs> From here, they become generators. Look at the things we are raising. We educate them and they grow up and become prayer warriors. God, because no one is coming. Lord, and unto those who chose to scatter this ministry, especially the pastors who left this ministry and left with members of this ministry. Lord, let their wives be barren. Let all fruitfulness be cast from them. I curse their generations. I curse their generations. I curse their generations before them and after them. Let there be chaos in their families. Let your pestilence fall upon them from this day. Let there be sickness from the root of their families to the generations that are not born. Epileptic, hepatitis, HIV, madness. Let it fall upon them. Hey, your majesties, what is this? There's a lot, oh, a lot. You, you laugh and you roll and laugh. You saw the other one. He said he when he was in Israel. I told you, Africans worship Israel so much. Eh? When he was in Israel, God now gave him the mustard seed. So God came there and gave him the mustard seed in that park. And said, my son, take. <laughs> oh my. And the gullible ones are falling for these things. And they are milking them out, taking out their money. The same pastor, I think I said last year, he said he was praying and God threw, out, threw down keys from heaven. No? Bundles of keys with thunder and lightning. I don't know whether he went and created a movie. And the thing was moving around, the circulating. People went there to go and buy key. Key, key of David, that be key of Peter. That any door you open with this key, door will never be closed. This is the same man coming again with this thing. I was thinking that key was the solution to all the problems last year. Why is it that he's coming with another one? We will never learn. And that is why people would be taking advantage of us through this religion, this whole thing, this whole thing, your majesties. There are times that we have to sit and think critically, but we don't want to, we don't want to think critically. We don't want to think. And that's why they are, they are taking advantage of us. They will keep taking advantage of us. And that is for a fact. So I don't know. Anyway, leave your thoughts and opinion there at the section. Like I said, <laughs> this is going to be fun. And I hope you laughed and you learned something. Leave your thoughts there at the section. And I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself. Love others. Stay safe to positive. Always, your majesties. Bye for now.